Meanwhile, the massacre on the Strip is highlighting a new growing concern for firefighters and EMS workers. How do they stay safe in chaotic situations? As News Channel 5's Chris Conti shows us, new at 6, the answer for some counties is bulletproof vests. For Sumner County, it wasn't one call or one incident that made them look into bulletproof vests. Instead, it was a simple acceptance of the fact that the new norm now puts them in harm's way more often. We're clear, Station 1. Tyler Widener's career is driven by a need to help others. Medic 6. Never know what you're going to walk into. But he has always been taught that the rescuer should never become the rescuee. When I started out, I would, I would never think going to a call like, hey, I better be ready for something bad to happen. The reality for Tyler and his partner Corey Klein these days, though. Are you having any difficulty breathing right now? Yeah. Is that even a mundane call like this person who burned themselves could end up with them in danger? The Las Vegas shootings, they're heavy on everybody's minds right now. Long before Vegas, Sumner County EMS saw a disturbing trend. More and more situations where firefighters, paramedics were put in harm's way. It's your vital areas. It's your vital organs. Because of that, Sam Clark made a push. Ten years ago, it was never it was never mentioned. A push to have every first responder in Sumner County equipped with a bulletproof vest. It's another tool in their tool bag. It's another thing to keep them safe, and at the end of the day, they go home to their families. Each vest costs around $500. The county spent more than 40 grand last year outfitting everyone. They're required to be worn at shootings, domestic calls, even unresponsive patients. We're in a different world. Um, this is not the world that I started in when, in EMS in 2002. We didn't worry about this. Thing. All we can do is better protect ourselves and be ready for it. It's an idea that, at least for these first responders, has taken off. We have a job to do and we've got to do it. Chris Conti, News Channel 5. Metro Nashville firefighters and EMTs do not have bulletproof vests, and the department tells us right now they have no plans to purchase any.